So every year, I invite you to vote for your top 10 movies. And I'm thrilled to announce that this year, more of you participated than ever before. And that's because we have ourselves an epic showdown. Mad Max Fury Road versus Star Wars The Force Awakens. Only one of them can be number one, both here and maybe at the Oscars. How ironic that the biggest threat to Mad Max Fury Road being crowned Best Picture is another blockbuster. But you guys were happy with this year's blockbusters, as you're about to see. However, stay tuned because at the end of this video I'll also reveal which movies almost made your top 10 list. Yes, Hollywood is changing and you kind of approved. Now here are your winners. At number 10, Mockingjay Part 2 just barely made this list, as it just barely made a lot of other top 10 lists, if at all. Last year, you placed Mockingjay Part 1 at number 4, and in 2013, Catching Fire was your favorite movie. Wrong direction, Hunger Games. But Tom Cruise is headed in the right direction, because while Edge of Tomorrow didn't make the cut last year, this year, you placed Mission Impossible Rogue Nation at number 9. Or is that because of Rebecca Ferguson's Elsa Faust? Either way, Paramount has heard you and has reassembled this entire team in front of and behind the camera for Mission Impossible 6. Then, what's this? You put Jurassic World at number 8, one spot higher than I did on my top 10 list, for which I took a lot of heat? Hmm, it would seem that people are not willing to defend Jurassic World publicly, yet when it comes to an anonymous vote, you do feel that all that money was well earned. Next, while Marvel dominated 2014's list with big movies from both Disney and Fox, this year's looking a bit like 2013 where they had to share your love. Thus, Ant-Man lands at number 7, which might not be great for a Marvel movie, but is spectacular for a Paul Rudd movie directed by Peyton Who Reed. While Edgar Wright had his defenders, let's face it, his disagreement with Kevin Feige over some small changes caused him to lose big. Then, after putting Gravity at number 3 on your list in 2013 and Interstellar at number 7 in 2014, you continued the trend with The Martian at number 6. This feel-good sci-fi is a true crowd-pleaser, but we'll have to see if it's more Gravity or Interstellar when it comes to award season, where those two space flicks definitely parted ways. Now, Harry Hart says, Manners maketh man, and you certainly noticed his suave moves in Kingsman the Secret Service, your number five movie of the year. With all the comic book movies in the marketplace these days, that this quirky original entry stood out to you says a lot about how diverse this genre can be while still being financially successful as well. It'll be interesting to see if Mark Miller and Matthew Vaughn can stay on your radar. Then, while the worldwide box office preferred Minions, you preferred Inside Out, your number four movie of the year. Yes, it seems despite some misfires, Pixar never fell off your radar, and you were ready and waiting for them to return in fine form. You'll also notice that as we get higher and higher on this list, a dedicated and active fan base becomes more and more of a factor. For instance, you just can't quit Marvel, despite many of you admitting that Avengers Age of Ultron was a bit of a disappointment after Captain America The Winter Soldier, which was your second favorite movie last year after Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. So you taught Feige a lesson by putting him at number three. Burn! So what's number one? Mad Max or Star Wars? I gotta tell you, it was close. The closest vote we've ever had on Beyond the Trailer. And most of you did feel that the best movie of 2015 was one of these two movies. But in the end, Star Wars The Force Awakens had the stronger fan base, as is being made abundantly clear by its historic box office returns. That puts George Miller's opus at number two, but while it's lost the battle for both fans and box office, perhaps it'll be victorious in the battle for Oscar. And the Golden Globes, where Star Wars isn't competing as Disney didn't screen it in time for the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. That's because Disney put you first in an unprecedented effort to keep the movie's details a secret, and you rewarded Disney for those efforts, not just with loads of box office cash, but also the number one spot on this list. But I wonder, will you still feel that way in a few months? Now, as promised, here are the movies that almost made your top 10. Interestingly, this is a much more diverse list with female and non-white leads. 
There is also a lot of future talent here whose next movies are likely to earn a spot in your future top tens. Like Alicia Vikander in Born 5, Ryan Coogler directing Black Panther, and Melissa McCarthy and Paul Feig reteaming for Ghostbusters. Also, with The Hateful Eight and The Revenant just hitting theaters in limited release and only going wide now or next week, it's impressive they both made it so high on this list. And those are the results of this year's Top 10 poll. Be sure to share your reaction down below, and you can check out my own Top 10 lists for the year right now.